Amit Trivedi is joining us uh, this morning, founder of Investworks. Amit, uh, good morning. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Markets yesterday, Amit, I mean, the worst single day fall in a couple of months. This is the first time, particularly after budget, we've seen this kind of selling coming in. Uh, were you expecting it? Were you a little surprised? See, basically, markets had run up quite a bit. So 2% down move is not a very big move per se, right? And uh, broadly, it was coming on a lot of these uh, global factors, which is some expectation of rate hikes and all. So there could be bouts of volatility from here till the month of June, when you actually see some kind of a rate hike action coming into picture. So do you see further selling then when you say bouts of volatility? Do you see that continuing you know, intensely over the next few days? Or as you said, perhaps uh, you know, over the next few months? The market will be zigzag will is be what, zigzag. I'm, uh, what my sense is. Uh, see, we are not cheap anymore. Mm. We are priced to perfection at this point of time. Uh, having said that, uh, there is nothing wrong in terms of the future course of uh, the trajectory of our growth and all. So we will not see a sell-off per se, but there will be corrections in the market uh, per se. Right. So what according to you is fair value at this point? See, fair value is anything between around 8,500 to 9,000 kind of thing. Around okay. 8,500 seems to be a reasonably fair value. 9,000 is slightly expensive. So you're saying lower expectations basically for some time. Yeah, for some time. So do you see, um, you know, the uh, uh, sort of uh, favoritism also shifting in the market, uh, Amit, to within the sectors? Do you see a rotation happening? Do you see perhaps, uh, you know, market moving back towards defensives, whether it's FMCG, whether it's pharma, just because it's uh, more uh, risk averse at the moment? See, if you look at the broad market construct, in fact, it is predominantly favored towards defensives. So if you okay. look at... Uh, the stocks which have done well, they are all the pharma stocks, they are mostly the IT companies and some FMCG companies. So I think that that construct should continue for some more mm -hmm. time. Uh, like banks did play a vital role and they were showing a lot of strength, but now they have entered into a volatile zone at this point of time. So like if you look at a bank nifty, it should move between around 8, 18,500 mm -hmm. on the lower side and around 21,000 on the higher side. So that's, so if you have bank nifty on 21,000 or 20,500 levels, you will see the nifty closer to around 9,100 levels. If the bank nifty is around 19,000 yeah. levels, you'll see the nifty at around 8,600 levels. So yesterday we saw even the private sector banks taking quite a bit of a hit. And of course they have run up a, a, a lot yeah. more. Uh, but would you perhaps say that it's time to book profits even in the private sector banks, which have been on top of most uh, analysts, uh, buy lists till now? See, if you are taking a fundamental yeah. three-year view, I think it's a good time to stay invested in equities per se, in banks uh, right. particular, because banks are a proxy to the economic growth. So as you are moving from a 5 to a 6.5% or 7% mm. GDP growth rate, banks will uh, deliver results per se. So I think if you are having a medium-term view, you should stick around to it. Otherwise, it's a trading bet. So you can buy an access closer to 550, sell it closer to around 650. Okay. And at least four times in a year, you will get such kind of opportunities. Okay. Also, you mentioned IT. And I bring that up because yesterday we saw both TCS and Mindtree talk about a muted fourth quarter or anticipating uh, that as well going ahead. Does that make you a little nervous about IT or perhaps want to stay away from, from it for now? Because uh, if, if we're not actually going to see earnings catching up, uh, then you know, markets, we've seen them punish those IT stocks before as well. Yeah. So if you look at uh, broadly IT commentary in the last two, yeah. three quarters, it has been something similar. Yeah. They have been always uh, lowering expectations and things like that. Uh, the thing is, uh, the P is not very expensive for IT companies okay. at this point of time. So that's providing some comfort. So like closer to around 2600, a TCS is a reasonable buy kind of a thing. Although yes, the year on year uh, growth numbers will be smaller. But that is the only pocket which is showing some kind of reasonable growth uh, per se. So okay. pharma or IT or those kind of uh, sectors.